In my last video, I talked about the benchmark score of Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which will be announced next month at the Snapdragon Summit. As we have seen in the past couple of years, MediaTek announces its flagship chipset around the same time when Qualcomm announces its flagship SoC. And we might see the same thing happening again as there are already reports of the launch of Dimensity 9200 SoC next month. The MediaTek Dimensity 9200 is going to be the company's flagship SoC for the first half of 2023 and the main competitor to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Today, the Dimensity 9200 was benchmarked on N22 and we got to know some interesting details from the benchmark result. One good thing about the N22 benchmark is that apart from the overall benchmark score, it also shows the individual scores of the CPU, the GPU and the memory, which makes it easier to see how much of an improvement a chipset brings over its predecessor. As we can see, the overall benchmark score of Dimensity 9200 is over 1.26 million, which is also the highest ever benchmark score recorded on N22 so far. Currently among Android phones, the ASUS ROG Phone 6D Ultimate is ranked number 1 on N22 which scores around 1.13 million points. If we talk about the iOS devices, the iPad Pro 5 is at the first position with 1.25 million points. Now speaking of the individual scores, there are some interesting things to note. First of all, the CPU score is almost the same as for the Dimensity 9000+. On the other hand, the GPU score is higher by over 100,000 points. This shows that the main upgrade that we are going to see in Dimensity 9200 is the GPU performance. And this is all thanks to the latest Immortalis G715 GPU by ARM, which offers up to 15% performance boost, 15% better power efficiency and twice the machine learning performance than the previous generation. This is also the first ARM GPU to feature hardware-based ray tracing support on mobile. This benchmark result also showed that the peak temperature during the benchmark was 37 degrees. Now it is very likely that the CPU was not used up to its full potential in this benchmark because we know that Dimensity 9200 has the new Cortex-X3 Prime Core which offers up to 25% better performance than the Cortex-X2. Well, in the past few years, we have seen MediaTek launching some impressive SoCs, but one area where MediaTek has always lagged behind Qualcomm is the GPU performance. But this time, we may see the Dimensity 9200 giving a tough competition to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 in terms of the GPU performance as well. Anyways, that is all about this video and as always, I will catch you in the next one.